Okay, so today we are going to tackle a lathe project in Mastercam. Simple little guy. Um, it's a candle holder, nothing too fancy. So we will uh, open this guy here. So there's our solid part. So it's made in SolidWorks and it will import. There it is. Back out you can see that it's on the front face of the part is on the origin. If you click F9 on your keyboard you can toggle the origin on and off so you can always do that. And at any time you can do that. We need to set up some parameters here. So we start with the type of machine. Let's go to lathe. Pick the lathe. We'll just use default, that works for us. Then I would go to planes, and we want to have D and D plus and Z plus. So let's go to tool pass, and now we go to our machine properties to start with. Same like in the mill. So give it a program number, otherwise, if you don't, the program number will be zero. I like to use from material for my for my um, feeds and speeds. Adjust the arc moves. Here we've got the default is steel. In this case, this material is um, brass. I believe that we're going to have to go with aluminum though, because I don't think that um, brass is in the library. So I would just go with 6061. It will be current speeds and feeds uh, or relatively current or, or comparative anyway and I always select each of these it just helps me so that I don't have to type in everything all uh, all, all the time it gives me my tool number sequentially sequentially um, you know one two three four five otherwise you end up with the, the actual library tool numbers like 212 or 382 or whatever it is and of course your machine likely doesn't have those tool numbers you may end up having to renumber your program uh, your tool numbers on your machines anyway depending on where the tools end up so everything else here is fine let's go to stock setup so we have a left hand spindle machine we'll go into properties for stock the stock is 1.5 inches OD, 4 inches long. It's actually, we're, we're using bar stock, but um, 4 inches is fine. We are going to give ourselves 50 thou for facing on the front front face. Um, everything else there should be okay. And I believe everything here is okay as well. Now you can see out here we've got a dotted line for our stock as well as for our face. So that's all good. We can go then to the chuck jaws. We can define those. And you can switch those between external holding and internal holding. You can change the size of the steps on the jaws. You can get very creative um, depending on just how much information you want to add. Um, for parameters, we are going to clamp on the outside. I am going to um, go from stock, so that gives me an inch and a half stock, and how much am I going to grip it by? Probably one inch in length. If I preview the boundaries, you'll see, yeah, it looks okay like that. Click enter to continue, and we're good.